today's episode, we will be exploring the history of formation of the United Nations. This episode will start from the end of the First World War by looking at the Treaty of Versailles and how it is one of the reasons for the Second World War and also the formation of United Nations. I will be also continuing from there by giving a short idea about the League of Nations, with its history and some of the organizations under it and how these organizations failed to contain the impulses for the Second World War. And we will end by looking at the Second World War and how this war was one of the other reasons for the formation of the United Nations. Before I move, move further, I would like to request all the viewers to please do sub like and share the video with your friends and family members. If you like the video, please do subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell to receive updates on the future uploads. So let me take you on this historic train ride of the four of the United Nations. The Treaty of Versailles was a peace agreement signed on 20th June 1919 between Germany and also the Allies, composing of United States of America, France and Britain. The treaty was supposed to be an armistice or a ceasefire agreement forging the end of the war and also a statement by the defeated Germans of accepting their defeat. The procedure and also the manner for the signing of the treaty was seen as an insult by German state, the lack of respect given to the authority who was signing the treaty on behalf of the, Germ of the state. The contents of the treaty were also humiliating as it destroyed the economy and morale of the German public and the government. Germany was forced to pay reparations amounting to $13 billion in today's value to the Allied powers. Germany was also required to hand over Alsace-Lorraine to France and also Rhineland, which was one of the most prosperous territories of Germany. This was seen as a huge insult. And it also burdened the German economy along with increasing inflation and also unemployment in the country. This was worsened by the start of Great Depression of 1929, leading to the rise of Adolf Hitler, who was previously a member of sm a small party called as Nationalist Socialist or Nazi Party. And this led to the dominance of Hitler and this party. This was also worsened by the failure of the League of Nations, the predecessor to the United Nations. The League of Nations was formed as a result of the First World War and was based on the 14 points formulated by the US President Woodrow Wilson. The organization can be considered as a predecessor to the United Nations in form and structure. The main assembly of the League was, was the assembly, which is similar to the current General Assembly of the United Nations. The main governing body of the League was the Secretariat, just tasked with the day-to-day -day functioning of the body. The League also had two autonomous bodies, which were the International Labour Organization and the Permanent Court of Arbitrage or Arbitration. The League was fairly successful in the beginning and was instrumental in drafting the Geneva Protocol in 1920 and also the World Disarmament Conference in the 1930s just went to, went to work towards disarmament of chemical and biological weapons. But these measures failed as the organization was weak from the formation due to its lack of autonomy and also the increased conflicts which the organization couldn't solve. Some of these included the Russian intrusion into Poland, the German invasion of Rhineland and Czechoslovakia, the Japanese invasion of Manchuria in the 1930s. These issues were aggravated when the Nazi Germany left the League of Nations in 1933 and started invading other nations including Belgium and also France, leading to the Second World War. The Second World War began in the year 1939 with the German invasion of Belgium and also other parts of Western and Eastern Europe. 
The war was fought at the beginning between the Axis powers, composing of Nazi Germany, Imperial Japan, and Fascist Italy, and the Allies, composing of Britain and France, and eventually Russia. But in 1941, after the Pearl Harbor attack by the Japanese forces, the United States of America got directly involved in the war, and this can be seen as a major turning point in the war effort. The war ended in 1945 with the Battle of Berlin and also the surrender of Imperial Japan and the execution of Benito Mussolini of Italy. The war caused a huge amount of destruction of life of both civilians and soldiers with over 6 million Jews murdered during the Holocaust and also during the war. These atrocities and also the lessons learned from the war gave way to the formation of United Nations on October 24, 1945 in San Francisco, United States. In a nutshell, this is the history of the United Nations. The reference used in this episode will be available in the description and also in the Instagram and Facebook page Loga Chindagal. Please do follow these pages. In the next video, we will be looking into the various organs of the United Nations. Until then, please do like the video and also subscribe to the channel. Thank you.